Hey, good day everybody, this is Sports Fanatic News, I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be a quick reaction to the Philadelphia Flyers being able to beat the Bruins in an interesting tilt, 6-3. to three. It was a very interesting game tonight, Morton Jones did exactly what you want him to do as a backup goaltender, and then, and then some honestly playing really solid tonight, making a key save that led to the Atkinson goal, not as sexy as the Hart save, because that might end up being the save of the year, or one of them. Obviously, when he came to that save on Jordan Everly, but he made a very nice save. And then that led, obviously, a couple minutes later to Cam Atkinson being able to score on the rush with Joel Fairby, where he did a nice fake pairs, and then held it, and then scored. And then, unfortunately, um, Tucker Kuhlman was able to score on our goaltender, Martin Jones, assisted by Trent Frederick and Nosek, that I mentioned before the game in the preview uh, on a rebound goal there, but I thought that Atkinson's goal was really nice. Derek Broussard again was able to set it up. He's been killing it. All the new guys are killing it, but Broussard and Yondel, who had both been with AV before, seem to be very comfortable with AV again as they have just been kicking butt. Broussard had another assist on the Faraby goal that at first Jonesy thought that Provy hit it because they were both in front of the net, but it turns out Faraby got his stick on it, so good for him to get his third. Ryan Ellis was, of course, able to have the assists on that being patient there and being able to get an assist as well when he was able to shoot the puck. So that was a nice, smart play all around. And then when it came to the next goal, that was a beautiful play, an absolutely immaculate thinking play by Keith Yondel. He couldn't make that pass through, obviously, so he banked it off the boards. He knew JVR would beat the guy there. Excuse me. He hit it off the side pads of Jeremy Swayman, of course. And then it bounced in front. And then, of course, Scott Lawton was the guy that was there in the spot and able to kind of um, turn, as the great Mark Zumoff used to say, as this was the first Sixers game without him tonight, garbage into gold and get a goal on that one, which was assisted by Yondel and James Van Riemsdyk. And then Rasmus Ristolainen owned up on this play. He could have made a better play. He had an off first game, but I ain't going to overreact. I didn't overreact to the Sanheim having an off first game, and he's been bouncing back and playing fairly well since, so I think Risto will do same as his first freaking game. He hasn't played in a while, and he was out with an injury, but he may he also owned up to it, which I love to see when people take onus when they have an off game, so that was nice to see. But Hall was able to score in that breakaway that was assisted by Charlie McAvoy after Rasmus Ristolainen kind of just did a lazy backhand, and um, they were able to feel the puck there and then go up the ice, McAvoy to Hall, and then Hall scored. Um, of course, Marchand, the guy that we hate seeing scoring, was able to score when there was a back, or when there was a wraparound, excuse me. McAvoy had an assist on that again, and then Pasternak had an assist. The wraparound, they were able to get it in front, and then the pass was able to somehow get through that squeak through to Brad Marchand, where Rasmus was to line and was kind of out of position a little bit there. So yeah, he had an off game, but I ain't reacting to it negatively. Um, I think he's going to bounce right back, and he's going to be a hell of a player for this team, as I've already said. Cam Atkinson scored again. He's been playing like it, someone shot out of a rocket with his new energy on this new club. I think that line's working absolutely perfectly. We were thinking with Kevin Hayes out, who was going to step up, or Derek Broussard at this point of his career really step up to be that second-line center more than the third line at this point. Well, he sure as hell is. He's playing very well and doing very efficient. Um, Jamie Bascal actually tweeted out the great Jamie Bascal flyers nitty gritty. Derek Broussard and Keith Yandel make a combined one point seven two five million, and they have registered one goal, eight assists for nine points in just three games played. What a bargain! And that is exactly true. They are a complete bargain right now. Those are guys that you get from the bargain bin, and they're playing really well. And Obviously, Kevin Hayes, when he comes back, if Derek Broussard keeps playing this well, eventually he'll get back to the second-line role. But you can kind of ease his minutes back up, and you don't have to rush him back into the second line because that line's already working very smoothly. But the Flyers, they did get outplayed in this game shot, shots-wise. They got outshot by 15, but all that matters at the end is the wind and the scoreboard and looking and growing and building from this game on the negatives where you made a couple of those bad plays to lead to the extra shots that the Bruins were able to have where you could have got the puck out of your zone easier. You could have made a better play in your own zone so it didn't lead to breakaways on the tall play there. So there's different things you want to grow on and build on, but a win's a win. And you want to obviously get as many W's as possible and you look at the tape, you build, and then you try to play Boston a little bit better and be the more aggressive team obviously throughout. 
and not just a very efficient team because six goals, obviously five on 24 shots, not counting the empty net, but six on 25 is obviously very efficient. So sometimes it's more about quality than quantity, and the Flyers really had that today, making some really nice plays. And the last goal, of course, was um, when Giroux was able to get it up to get his first assist after playing a hell of a first couple games himself, of course, scoring the last game. And you have Konechny was able to score when Couture dropped it back to him, and he was able to snipe that goal. So that was really nice to see. Uh, Travis Konechny continued to kick butt, and it's, I think he's going to have a killer season this year. The one guy that obviously I think is going to be a huge turning point for a bottom six once he really gets going is going to be Oscar, because I think Oscar's going to eventually take off, and then he's just going to be that great swing guy that you can play up and down the lineup whenever you want to use him. But my key takeaways and stars from this game would be, well, one, Cam Atkinson has to be the first star. He was able to pot two goals. He keeps playing like a guy shot out of a rocket, like I said, out there. Um, I think one of the other ones would have to be, I think you can put Joel Farabee and um, Derek Broussard together because both of them at forward are just playing very, 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 very well. So I'm going to give them both kind of even for the second star because I think the third star has to just because he played a solid all-around game and his save led to kind of building the momentum early on. If we went down one nothing, who knows if Cam, if we would have the same momentum to get that Atkinson goal, go on that rush, you never know. Uh, obviously, sports are very momentum-driven, especially an emotional sport like hockey. So that big save for Hart last game was huge. Not as sexy in this game, but a nice save by Jones. A couple, actually, when the shots were 7-1, to one, and Atkinson was able to score on our second shot. So I think he stepped up, so that's why I would give him the third star. But my takeaways from this game were, you built, you did very well on the power play. You were two for two on the power play. That's huge. You out hit the Bruins. You love to see that. You out block shot the Bruins, and they're usually damn good at that. You love to see that. The one thing you want to see less of is we had twelve uh, giveaways, and they only had six. So obviously, you don't want to be giving away the puck that many times. So there's things you have to adjust from when you get out shot by fifteen and have that many giveaways. But we won the damn game six to three. So I'm going to be very happy about this. We were able to beat the Bruins early on in the season. Martin Jones stepped up. Joel Fairby had a great game. Keith Yondel continued to do great. Derek Brassard did great. And obviously the first star of the game, Cam Atkinson, did fabulous. Again, the new guys are thriving back out or back here, out here in Philadelphia. Some of them back here with AV. They are thriving, and we love to see that. I hope everyone enjoyed this recap, a 6-3 win over the Boston Bruins. Great job by our Philadelphia Flyers. Let's keep bringing that bring it to broad energy against the Florida Panthers this Saturday that I will be doing a preview for, of course, early on Saturday. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Subscribe down below or up above if you enjoy the content. Go Flyers. Let's keep winning those games out there. Peace.